quick. Graph y equals the quantity of 3x squared by hand two different ways. It is highly recommended to watch this video, how to graph y equals f of the quantity k times x before watching this video. You will need graph paper or download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. The first way is with what we call the parabola dance. Normally we start at the origin and the coefficient of x3 inside the parentheses does not affect this point. As you can see when x equals 0, y is equal to 0 also. Points are going to be plotted relative to this origin point. Also since k equals 3, the curve is narrower than the parent function y equals x squared. And also recall that the coefficient is inversely proportional to the horizontal dilation factor, which is 1 over k, or the reciprocal of k. That is, we're going to multiply each x value by the reciprocal of k, which is 1 third. Normally, the parabola dance would be right 1 up 1. And so for this one, it's going to be right 1 third up 1, because 1 third times 1 is 1 third. Y values stay the same. So we'll plot that point, right 1 third up 1. The next point would be right 2 up 4, but for this one it will be right 2 thirds up 4 because 1 third times 2 is 2 thirds. Y coordinate stays the same. And right 3 up 9 will become right 1 up 9. 1 third times 3 is 1. So see if you can do the remaining points. Press pause and resume when you're ready. Next point will be left 1 up 1, but this one's going to be left 1 third up 1. Left 2 up 4 becomes left 2 thirds up 4. And left 3 up 9 becomes left 1 up 9. Connect the points. And this is our graph of y equals the quantity 3x squared. Comparing that to the parent function, we pick two points, and on the green it's 1, 9, on the blue it's 3, 9. You can see the x-coordinates, uh, the green times 3 is the blue x-coordinate, while the y-coordinates remain identical. So we say there's a horizontal dilation factor of 1 third, and this is a horizontal shrink. Also, since the quantity of 3x squared is equal to 9x squared, the graphs of y equals the quantity of 3x squared and y equals 9x squared are identical. Second way, using a table. Here's our normal y equals x squared table. Since k equals 3 inside the parentheses before we square it, the horizontal dilation factor is the reciprocal of 3, which is 1 third. We keep the y coordinates the same, so we'll do that in that table but multiply each x-coordinate by the reciprocal of k, which is 1 third. The first point 3 times a third will be 1, so we'll plot the point 1, 9. 2 times a third is 2 thirds, so we'll plot 2 thirds, 4. 1 times a third, 1 third, 1. And the origin stays the same. Go ahead and finish the last three points. Press pause and then resume when you're ready. negative one-third comma one, negative two-thirds comma four, negative three-thirds or negative one comma nine. Connect the points and then compare it to the parent function. Note again, y equals a quantity three x squared is equivalent to y equals nine x squared. Now you try one. Graph y equals a quantity of 2x squared. Use either method or both for the practice. Press pause to do this and resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here is that answer. Notice the green graph is narrower. This is an example of a horizontal shrink and that these are equivalent.